What's up, Yugi Universe? It's Doolian here. After weeks of waiting, our most anticipated day is here. Not one, not two, but three monster box openings on our good friend Dark Magician 81's channel as a guest upload. Let's go! Wow, what an intro. I have been waiting until my guest upload on Dark Magician 81's channel to debut that new intro. Yugi Universe, what do you guys think of it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, huge shout out, huge shout out to everyone doing guest uploads on Dark Magician 81's channel this month. And thank you for having me. My name is Doolian and welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do that so you never miss any new content. And Yugi Universe, if you haven't seen my giveaways, I do an awesome giveaway every single month, courtesy of my sponsor, The Collector's Vault up here. We'll get into that a little bit more later. But before that, I had my subscribers vote and all my followers on Instagram of what kind of video we should do as a guest upload. And you guys all voted for the $100 Walmart Monster Box Challenge to know if it's worth buying. I mean, Walmart's always got these crazy things going on, and I feel like every time I've bought one, I usually got it. Oh, this is a family show, right? Can't say that. I'm gonna find out if it's worth for you to buy a Monster Box at about 30 bucks a pop. Let's hope we can get something good. It's got nine booster packs plus a legacy pack, so you know there's gotta be something. It's got a bunch of Shining Victories, Dark Saviors. You guys let me know which one is your favorite from all those legendary times. But now, what are we waiting for? You came to check out some openings, right? Wait, 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 wait. Back it up, back it up. I know you guys came for the openings, but one more thing. Yugi Universe. Yugi Universe. It's now. If you enjoy this content, be sure to obliterate that like button. Now, let's go open these boxes. Yugi Universe, it's time to open up these awesome looking monster boxes for this $100 Walmart challenge. Looks like you get nine booster packs and one legacy pack. I have seen fellow Yugi tubers open these up and the legacy pack has been a combination of Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, Invasion of Chaos, Phantom Darkness. I would really like to get a Legend of Blue Eyes or Metal Raiders for some true nostalgia. Let's see here. Fusion Forces is neat too. So I'm really looking forward to see what we can get out of there. As you may see in the background here, I am officially debuting my all new playmat on Ralph's channel. All my dino enthusiasts, you can see our boy Ultimate Conductor up there, Giant Rex over there, Oviraptor, the all new Armador Archosaur, he's a mouthful, a couple babies in there, little Jirak hit in there, Miscellanosaurus. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of the all new playmat that I've partnered up with Imperium Duelist and my good friend Juan, who did the artwork for it. As always, don't forget the matching field center, which hasn't come in yet as it is being designed by Cardboard Gaming, but pre-orders will be open once this video is live. Go ahead and see these awesome Starlight Rare field centers. Cardboard Gaming does a phenomenal job, and on the back you can see there, you got prestigious Yu-Gi-Oh card. So if you haven't got yours already, please be sure to go ahead and order them. Appreciate all the support, Yu-Gi-Oh Universe. But without further ado, let's cut open these monster boxes. Looks like one of them fell. Let me open these two and then I will get them open. What packs are you guys most looking forward to seeing come out of these things? And more importantly, what cards would you be chasing in these monster boxes? I got a lot of heat for buying these and not doing your traditional booster boxes, 
that I figured with the delay of eternity code, we gotta do something different. So why not do this challenge? Alright, so what do we got in here? Looks like there's a nice little housing in there hiding the cards. Let's see what we got here. Get those out of the way. Open up our next pack, next booster box here. Speaking of Eternity Code being delayed, what cards are you guys most looking forward to? Or are there any future sets that y'all are looking forward to? Let me know down in the comment section below. This video will be on my channel as well as our good friend Ralph here. And be sure to check out all the other uploads coming to his channel this month because he's got a huge plethora of lots and lots of content from whether it's Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, I even saw some Dragon Ball Z. Love the support this community gives each other. It's a tight niche community and I love seeing that. They should all be listed down in the description below. So give them some support and if you haven't done so already, go ahead and give our good friend Ralph here a subscribe for putting all this together as I can't imagine his task is any easier. It's hard enough managing one YouTube channel. can only imagine handling all these channels for the month of May. So Ralph, we do applaud you. Thank you so much, bro. All right, oh nice. So you got a maximum prices pack there. Use the sound there, the boxes just fell. <laughs> so we got some, let's separate these based I guess on the quantities. All right, Yugi Universe, here we go. So let's start with Dark Saviors. This is a set that brought us all the Sky Strikers, Fur Hires, and some Vampire support. So we got Vampire Awakening, Fur Hire, Sky Striker, Eagle Booster. Nice Tune Table contents. Really looking forward to the Legendary Duelist coming out next month for Tune Support and a Shark Cannon. Nice pack there. I'm gonna save the Legacy Packs for the end. So which ones did we have a couple one-offs of? Uh, you know what, let's go Breakers of Shadow. So we got Twilight Ninja, Daspot 007, Super Heavy Samurai General. Ooh, a nice Cosmo Joe, there we go. Cosmo support, pull the secret. Anyone running any Cosmos? And that's we got a tin can or some other ones. I never personally played Cosmos. I did feel their wrath back there a couple years ago. Dark Dorido, Shiranui Smith, Draco Faceoff, Super Heavy Samurai, Pendulum Storm, Go 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 Emperor, Magispector Sonics, Forbidden, and Perform Pals. All right. Last pack of Breakers of Shadow. And if I didn't say it before, the link to order this all new playmat will be in the description below. Pre-orders are now open. Once again, it is designed by Imperium Duelist. Super heavy sideline. Oh, speaking of Cosmo Tin Ken, there we go. Always liked how cool he looked. Is that a, yeah, Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. <laughs> this card's getting a reprint. What techie cards are you guys playing this format? Let me know what decks you're playing as well. I'm gonna jump over to Cybernetic Horizon. So we're definitely trying to see if we can hit our $100 challenge as well. Shade of Power, Dragoon of Green, Shade of Equimax, and nothing there. All right, next pack, Cybernetic Horizon. I think it's really cool that they have this little mashup box of packs. World Legacy, Hippo Hoshinigan. Okay. There you go. I know Konami isn't the one who put this together. I forget the name of the company who put these boxes together. But this pack is going to a little difficulty. Wasn't really a fan of the Cybernetic Horizon set. Got Cosmo Brain, Universal Adapter, Psychic Ace, Breaking of the World. 
Crusade Amagus, The Deep Grave, World Legacy, Cybernetic. This card got a nice reprint. All right, let's so moving on to the Secret Forces. Don't remember, I think this was the um, Necros, right? Ooh, Ritual Beast as well. Old T. Canahawk. Got a secret there. Djinn, Shino, Abyss Dweller. Nice, nice. Man, that Ritual Beast. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Next pack of the Secret Forces. We could get a Necros. What do we got here? Yushino, Yushinju Kama. Shinju, Divine Wind of the Mist Valley. Spiritual Beast. Yushin Trading Grounds. Still working on a Harpy's deck profile. Waiting on a couple more cards and it should be done. Alright, last pack of the Secret Forces. Our secret is Necros of Klossalas. Another Dweller. Armageddon Knight. Dijin. I love the artwork of Dijin. I don't know why. Just like, like a fat guy. He reminds me of somebody you'd see on Dragon Ball Z. You know what your guys' thoughts are. Next, let's jump over to Flames of Destruction. So you see Prisvania there. There are some other cards you can get out of here. Alright, here we go. Focus camera. Ooh, nice. Common Call by the Grave. Geist and Red Reboot, our limited Red Reboot. Okay. Next pack of Flames of Destruction. We saved some of the more value cards sets towards the end of the opening. So hopefully we hit a couple cards and we make our challenge fly through. Wind up. Nope. Nothing there. Alright, jump in Dimension of Chaos. Got it. And you know what? Let's do Duelist Alliance first. Let's do Duelist Alliance first. We only have two of those. So these packs feel kind of heavy. Maybe these ones are better. And I don't think these packs are scaled, guys, because I've seen some good pulls out of them. Dragonhorn Hunter, Flash Knight, Dijin, Yang Zing. Good old Yang Zing. Next Duelist Alliance pack. Plus we got the Secret Cosmos though. And it's not great, but definitely helps. Pop up. Underrated card in my opinion. Chaos Seed. Dragon. Hedgehog. And that's all out of that one. Alright, let's jump over to Dimension of Chaos. If you guys haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like, and remember to obliterate that like button. DD Swirl Slime, Gradle Cobra, have you seen that? Three times fast. Mighty Spectre Cyclone. Ooh, nice! Kaiju. Kaijus have always held their value. Man, I think that was like a seven or eight dollar card off my head. Cobra, Super Heavy. Nice. Magic Spectre. I've always loved the. Wait a minute. Is that an ulti? <laughs> wow! Pull the ulti Magic Spectre. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh my god. I was, I was staring at the camera lens, guys, and I didn't look at the card itself, and I was like, wow! So we pulled an ulti Magic Spectre. <laughs> Holy crap! Wow, put that right there real quick. What else did we get? So that definitely should help with our challenge, right? Get a good look at that one. Wow, I was just talking about how these packs feel a little bit heavier. Oh man, I'll get a value on that once we total it all up. Nice, nice, nice. All right, next pack of Invasion of Chaos. What are some of your guys' favorite ultis? If you didn't do it already, you better definitely obliterate that like button now. Nice. Shuffle Reborn. Super Soldier Ritual. Grand Horn of Heaven. Gradle Eagle. Alright. Next packs, we got Maximum Crisis. I think this is where Draco came from, right? And Ash Blossom. We get a secret of those. That would be great. 
true king of all calamities. Okay, he's running wild. He's part of this dino field. Be sure to support your dino playmats. Teal tenors, we got Chris Drawn. Got a whole bunch of them. I'll try to cater. Let me know what you guys want to see next designed. My Patreon page is just about being wrapped up. The live streams and the equipment should all be arriving soon, so we're going to definitely get you guys involved. Magician's left hand. Another? Two King of All Calamities? Okay. Cobra. So definitely not the Ash I was looking for, but hey, we got an all two and we still have about 12 packs left. Next pack is Subterror. Right. So I'm torn. Do I go Shining Victories, Fusion Enforcers? Hmm. Let's go Shining Victories. All right. Infinite Cards, Cosmo, Pre Prep, Lunalite. And that's all those. All right, so we got the pre-prep there. Next, we got Shining Victories. So how are we doing on our $100 challenge so far, guys? Definitely, I would say, you know, there is value here. More nostalgia. You are getting guaranteed packs versus these cubes and stuff. Uh, Master of Eyes with Blue. Ooh, got a Red Eyes Toon Dragon. Nice, nice, nice. Home of White, Lunalite White. Tune deck profile is coming, guys. Just waiting for some new support. I have always been an avid tune player. You know what? That gives me an idea for the next. Do you guys want to see a tune mat and field center next? Or what would you want to see next? Uh, next, we've got Lunalite Black. Ooh, got a secret! Drowning Mirror Force. This card used to be utilized. Very much. Kaiju Files. So, we are down to seven packs. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Checking out everyone's videos on this channel. We got Predaplant. I think the secrets come first on this one, right? So, all Ultra Set, if I remember correctly, or Super Set. Predaprung, Buffalo Penguin, and Alistair. Okay. But yeah, thank you guys so much for checking everyone out. Subscribe to everyone's channel. Give them some love. All right, so this time I'm gonna try to hide the secret for the end. Let's see what we got here. Put a pruning, fight for sheep, toy vendor for fluffle, fight for fusion. Invoked Elysium. Man, I thought we had the invocation there. Invoked Elysium though. All right, last fusion enforcer pack. Still can't believe I got that ulti. I have never ever pulled an ulti. <laughs> Don't know the value on it, so I haven't got to it yet. All right, you got Summoner Monk, put a plant, Edge M Sabers that had a nice uh, alternate art, Fight for Fusion, and a put a plant. All right, so we're gonna go Spell Ruler, Metal Raiders, Blue Eyes. Legacy pack. So I just realized we got four legacy packs. And I think we we're only supposed to get three. And then these packs, if I remember off my childhood, these are not guaranteed a hollow, but you are guaranteed a rare. And there's our rare. This was one of my favorite cards as a kid. This card was mean. Next pack is the Metal Raiders. So reprinted because you can see the old logo on the traditional packs. Metal Raiders Pack, Dream Clown, Mystic Horseman, Crass Clown, Horn of Heaven, an original Witch of the Black Forest, Dis Magician, Doubles Queen. Next Metal Raiders Pack, the last Metal Raiders Pack. Shadow Ghoul, man, where was Gate Guardian? <laughs> but this has honestly been a great time, great opening. 
Thank you to everyone who hasn't seen my channel before. Head on over and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and subscribe to everyone who is doing these videos on this channel. Give our boy Dark Magician some love. And thank you guys so much. On to our last pack. Really appreciate each and every single one of you. Skull Servant, Mountain, Skull Red Bird, and a Fusionist White Phantom. But really, really a fun time. I'll have all the values tallied up and you'll see them there for you guys. Thank you so much, Yugi Universe. This is Julian. Peace.